if you are under the age of 18 and are watching this video, please stop now. This content was not intended for you. Hey everybody, it's Tamika and I am back with another video. This is day two in the unboxing of Timu, a weekend extravaganza, if you will. If you haven't had a chance to check out day one where I explain what it is I'm doing, how you can enter the giveaway over these next three days and the special giveaway is happening, I will be uploading a fourth video if these videos get the amount of likes that I am requesting so you we don't know what the likes are but i know that it's in three digits so just hit the like button if you're watching this video take a second hit the like button leave a comment and hey your button your like button just might be the one that made it over the hump that made it to go to, go to fourth prize so um uh, anyway i'm excited to give away stuff so that's that's <laughs> that is the best part i mean yeah getting the items and playing with the items and sharing with you guys the items awesome awesome but I love give it away. I love announcing winners. I love people getting excited. I love the excited emails like, eek, I never win anything. Makes my whole stinking day. Seriously. So um, just a brief recap. I am um, partnering with Timu and we are giving things away through these next three videos and sharing with you all of the awesome items that you can find on their website fast shipping be sure to take advantage of the spring sale that you'll find which will give you up to 90 percent off of items on the whole site that includes pet supplies jewelry fashion craft supplies um, multiple, multiple home decor, um, organization, just a lot, a lot of things. So, um, be sure to check those things out and just gallivant around the website and find things that you might like. You might be like, oh, okay, I never thought of that. Punch it in. Oh, I never thought of that. Punch it in. But when you go to the site, I would love for you to use the links that are down below in the description box. It not only will allow me to have a teeny, 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 teeny little bit of profit but it will allow you to go directly you don't gotta find you don't gotta type in nothing boom to make already provided for you want that boom there it is Ooh, there it is hey ooh, there there it is okay and then also you can enter the code that you'll find in the description box as well to to get an additional 30 percent off 30 percent off of nothing is what <laughs> it's so inexpensive and you'll see the items if you saw the video yesterday good quality items I don't know what video is in that I have these these shoes on, but they are so comfortable. I'm sitting in them right now like, mm, yum, yum, yum. But I don't know if which video, that might be the last video. I'm not sure, but you'll see. But they're comfortable as heck. Um, so that's it. Um, the video from yesterday will be down or in the cards somewhere here where you guys can see. And that's it for this intro. Enjoy this next one. I, I thought that I was doing a good job of spreading them across three days so yesterday i know you guys were like this a little long but listen math is not high on my knowledge list so yes i could have counted the items out and divided them by three and uploaded those items but i kind of eyeballed it and was like okay it looks like we got a good full box i'll just stop here so yeah anyway i did try to cram in a lot <laughs> But I mean, get yourself a cup of coffee, get yourself some water, some tea, some juice, some Kool-Aid, sit back, put your heels on the table and watch the video, click the remote, watch it on the TV and pull up a pillow and a little blanket and watch the video. Don't forget to hit the like button on your way out and leave a comment. All right, let's get to day two of a weekend extravaganza with Timu. Bye. Okay, let's get started on day two of the uh, timu haul i know you got the little intro that said don't forget to leave a comment like this video let me know what you think about what you see today what was your favorite thing and have you ever shopped at timu ask any of those questions to be eligible to win a prize pack from me um us only or us address so we're going to get started with this super large cutting mat it is 12 by 24 and i've never had a mat this long and i'm excited to be able to cut more on my machine at one time not having to stop at a 12 so this is going to be fun it's the standard um pink um mat this is for fabric but i use these interchangeably seriously on all my papers so 12 by 24 i love it 
So I grabbed that. Jumping right into another bag. We have, let's see. Let's start here. This is transfer paper for light fabrics. So I do transfer a lot of things on like t-shirts and things like that. You can do like smaller items, hat, tote bag. You can do shirt too as well, but you just use more pieces of paper. And then you got your parchment paper that you would use to um, prep your surface. And it's just transfer paper. You print on this and then you transfer it onto whatever item that your sub your substrate, whatever item that you're putting on there. And I think you have to use... Um, an inkjet, yeah. Oh, well, inkjet and laser printers. Okay, nice. I can't wait to try this. Definitely be good. You can use an iron, half sheet, one and a half to two minutes. Okay, yes, definitely. So if you've ever seen any of my transfer t-shirts or anything like that, things I've transferred on items, you'll know I like it. This is for light, light heat serve for light fabrics awesome and we have it says toy stamp product name toy stamp what's this oh it's a stamp it's a stamp oh it's a stamp set how cute is this stamp set it's like a french script stamp set let's get this open how neat is that Oh, that is so cute. I do love it. Very, very nice. Just, I love that old time. Um, it could be shabby. It could be mixed media. You can just use it for a background, a subtle stamp. Really, really cute. I like it. I like it a lot. Let's see what's in here. Okay, it looks like another color, and some of these are candles, and some of these are resin. Um, I have to go back and see which ones are which. I think these are. I think these are the candles, though. To be honest, yeah, I remember getting a plum for the candles, so you can color like your wax. And this is a really pretty plum. Depending on how many drops you add, is how dark the plum pigment will get so yes oh we got a mold of a snowflake these are cute three little different size snowflakes i'm all off camera but there we go really cute um oh i got some brushes um and these are good for i don't want to take the wrapping off but these are nice brushes for doing your distressing and then I just got different colors. I got a bunch of different colors. Um, and I could just put my the color that I want. I'll try to match it up with this. So I got purple for my purple ink, my hot pink inks. If I have hot pink, I may use a light pink on there because it'll start to get a different color here. You won't be able to tell. I might put yellow on here, but and then it's a really nice soft foamy brush at the top. Let's see. Really cute. I mean, and you can use it for a makeup brush, too. This is very dense. It's going to be very nice to be able to mush all of my inks into my paper. Very cool. So we got those. And then this is another. This is a candle ink in orange. A candle dye. Ink dye. In le orange. And I got some more paint sticks. I forgot I got paint sticks from my other haul but um i like to use these to flick my splatters with so yeah you just dip them and these flick really nice so put your splatters on I, I just knocked off all of the plastic piece why did i do that well if they're gonna knock off i might as well take them off but yeah they just flick really nicely to put your splatters on and then we have some flat brushes as well so really cool okay next we have oh i can see what this is i got some sewing pins that i very much needed so i have first i got some um 
iridescent sea beads. Really cute little brown iridescent sea beads. Really, really small. And then I got some pins for my sewing area to pin. I was, I don't know why, why my pins grow legs and walk away, but I got some, some uh, straight pins for my sewing room. And ooh, we have the black stars. Remember in yesterday's haul, we had the white ones. I'm not sure if the other colors will show up today or not. I am just grabbing bags, but these black ones are crisp, honey. It is really nice. So they have the little, you can put your little chain on, a little clasp there, hang it on your project and call it a day. Really, really nice. I love these stars. They are so cute. Love them. Love, love, love these colors. All right. So I have some more sequin mix and this is called white. It's more... um transparent and, it, and it's iridescent it's really cute it's not did I say sequin mix I meant sea beads if I didn't say sea beads I meant sea beads really nice and these are more of the clips that I showed you guys yesterday the metal clips that you can stick the pin in so cute these were in yesterday's haul so i just got a second set of that and we have some this says nicking tool my guess is these are those um pens that you can use yeah like um pick it, vinyl for vinyl weeding it's uh it's not an ink pen it's actually like a little cutter it's called a nicking tool though it's like a little ink pen, though. You put, pop it out like, an, like a pen, and then you just weed through. It's very sharp. So it came in green, white, and pink for the whole set. So pretty cool. And then these letters are so adorable. They're cubed alpha letters, and they're a color mix. So they have white with, white with black letters, white with gold letters, cubed, circle, mixed with gold letters and white with so it was just uh, a plethora of options and these are so adorable these will go cute with like a nice spring collection or a nice fall and they're really tiny beads um little cubed letters i thought they were really really cool you guys can see can you see that let's turn around this way see how cute are these very. I know I have a Maggie Holmes collection that will match that. Those are the typical colors. So pretty sure I won't have a problem matching. All right, moving on to the next item of the business. I have, oh, <laughs> so cute. Look at these hard ones. And I got a couple of colors of these as well. Oh my gosh, look at that. How cute are these guys? So, so pretty. Um, Really, really nice. So that is the little heart with the little clasp. Oh my gosh, nice and easy to move with the little charm down here. Very, very cool. And these are pink, called pink. One, two, three, they were a darker pink to a hot pink, I remember. One, two, three, four, five, six, you get 10 of these. And they are, the whole thing is an inch. Fits within that inch square. So, really, really nice. So, this I got. Um, these acrylic circles I'm going to be making. And they all come with the these cute little tassels. I have a lot of these. Actually, yeah, I have a lot of these. So, I definitely will add this to my repertoire. And then it's cool. They got the key ring as well. Um, so yeah, they are acrylic circle blanks and they are, I think they were one and a half. Let me just make sure. Yeah, they're one and a half and then, yeah, you just peel it off. You can put their name there. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to print a photo on here and put on the keychain because I'm going to make them for my daughter's play 
playmates, <laughs> not like friends, not like the bunnies, but the she's in a play at school and there's a cast of like 28, I think, 26, 27, somewhere around there. And I wanted to make, they take their photo two days before the last show and I'm going to grab their last photo and put and give them all a keychain like to commemorate them being in a play and working so hard together. So that's why I got these. So that'll be fun to put together. That'll be fun to put together 28 of those or 30. It's between 26 and 30. So I know it's not over 30 because I was making sure that I had enough. All right. In this next bag. Okay. We have some more colors. So now I can tell these are resin. The ones that are in these this color brand and this is this violet color and then these are candles this is garnet so like different colors of brown and then we have green and red um to dip in the candle and then these are resin so that other one that, that we did yesterday that citrine lime greeny that was resin and then we have that in the purple and then here's some more candle colors yeah and we have oh yeah this is that tape i use i was buying this off of amazon and i saw that timu had it for way less and this is what i'm using to hold up my um oh maybe i wouldn't take this off but this is what i'm using to hold up my oh, hold it open anyway my ink pad storage i don't know if you guys saw the video that i did i'll link it down below oh that's very sticky Oh, it's, I can feel the stick. Look. That is awesome. That, that is, look. Finally. Oh my gosh. Oh yes. This is definitely going to be great. I love this. This is like magic goop. Um, anyway, it's double-sided. You can remove off of the wall. It's a, it's going crazy everywhere. Um, so I've had my ink pad storage up since I did the video and all of my inks are in it and they're still hanging on the wall with no problem. So you're supposed to be able to, no, that does not gonna work. You're supposed to be able to remove that, you know, easily once you're done. So that's what my hope is without damaging your walls. So I'm going to put this back in a bag because... This stuff looks like it is definitely going to rock with me. So, yes, 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 and yes. All right. I grabbed another handful. Um, I think this is where I'm going to stop once I'm done with this for tomorrow's video. Because, again, I don't want to keep you guys for a long, long time just opening stuff. Um, oh. <laughs> I love pins. I have been waiting for these. I'm anxiously awaiting for these. I absolutely love ink pens. Because, you know, I got to try it out. Ah, pigment liner. 0.05. I don't know why I have bright white, but I do. Ooh, tiny little. Let's try. Oh, nice. Dark yellow. Fine tip. Oh, this is lovely. Oh, yeah. Oh, it's in my little pencil case. Where's my pencil case? Oh, that was from yesterday's video. This is going to be nice. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine of these pens. And they write like a fine tip. Very, very fine tip marker. Love it. And speaking of that, I have some colored gel pens. They come in this nice little case. Purple, happy day. Oh, purple, pink, red. Oh, it just says happy day, but orange, happy day, green. I was just telling you the colors. Although this is blue and this is dark blue, but it's really like a purple. So I don't know if they're all different colors. Let's see. Oh, I already know this is a scratchy pen, so I'm definitely going to like it. All right. Okay. We had to give it a little start time. Hello, girl. Oh, this, this is a plethora. This writes a lot. Okay. 
Oh, and it says it on here. This is light green. Oh, that came out right away. This is a vibrant green. Very cute. Let's try the next one. This is dark blue. And it's like a denim. Yeah, reminds me of like a denim. This says orange. This is pink. Don't do me wrong, pink. Oh, yes. Pretty. <laughs> Pretty. This is black. Nice gel black. Light blue. Oh, that's a pretty blue. It's like a turquoise. It says green. This is a darker green. Red. Kind of figured that with the hearts. Red. Oh. And blue. Oh, that's a pretty blue. Just your basic blue pen. Woo! We got through all of them. I like them. The gel is really jelly. Overall, those are good. Okay, I was a little heavy-handed in the stationary situation. <laughs> we, got some more, we got some more pens. But we got some plastic bags. I wanted to test out the plastic bags, and I wanted to see how these felt. These aren't the thick kind. They're a little thinner, but they're good for packaging. And these are 5 by 7 inch. And you get 100 of them. So that's a plus. I'll take it. So we got some more pens. Like I was saying, we're a little heavy-handed on the pen situation. But these were so pretty to just look at. Aren't they just cute? Like, who doesn't want these in their, in their craft room? <laughs> They're so pretty. Of course, you know I'm going to grab the mint one. I'll go through all this trouble. Grab the mint one. Yep. Even though they're all the same. Oh, the little gel cap. Go on. Oh. Very smooth. Oh, nice. Yes. I absolutely love these. Oh. I might like them better than I like that one. Mm-hmm. I do. Love, love, love it. Put them in a pins. Boom. Woo! We having ourselves a good time. If you're having yourself a good time, take a minute and or a second, a brief moment. Hit that like button. Let me know what you think. Don't forget to leave a comment to be eligible to win a prize pack. Go back to yesterday's video. Answer the questions from yesterday's video and leave a comment down there. Like that video as well. And don't forget to come back tomorrow. Okay, let's get on with the get on. And we have these flowers. Here's some die cutting for you. I use this die a lot. Um... This one is my, this is my favorite size, but layering these up in some cute poinsettias and making some cute little flowers. So pretty. I wanted to get a second one so I can cut more at the same time. So I love the perforated, the little wonky ends. Love, love, love this dye. And oh, yes, I couldn't wait for this. I don't want to take this out because once you get dust on the silicone mold, <laughs> it's just hard to, you got to keep these. But these are... A coffee cup I got the other the other piece somewhere else um, they're coasters um, and then there's a coaster holder and it's like a coffee a coffee cup and the top of it and you can put like little stuff in almost like a shaker but it solidifies with resin uh, I'm gonna put a picture up so hopefully you guys can see what I'm talking about but yes I can't wait to play with that all right that's the end of that bag. Oh, aren't these beads so cute? These are some cute little pearl beads, pearlescent. They are so pretty in this beautiful baby pink. So, so, so cute. And then this is a mini cutter. Oh, and you can put this on your um, keychain. It's a portable utility knife, basically. Let's get it open. I thought this would be neat to have. I usually have this big one that I carry around and this just pulls out like such. This could also be a safety tool. I mean, put it on a keychain. Let's see how, how good does it cut. 
cut this back. Oh, <gasps> nice. It just slits that thing right on open. So in on the package, though, it says like for opening up your mail, your letters, um, things like that. But you guys have this handy. Very, very cool. Oh, and here is the other half. <laughs> yes, here is the other half of the coaster. So you make the cup, the espresso cup, and with the resin, and then you it's a set, and you put them in your bottom, like a set of four. <laughs> Makes a great gift, right? Yeah, this might be something that you want to do part one and two, because this will be a lot of UV resin. But if you got a jug of UV resin, girl, go for it, which I happen to have. So probably what I'll be doing. But if you want to see this live, not live, but if you want to see a video of me do this, leave a comment down below. All right. Next bag. Look how cute these are. Some more pearls. How adorable are these? Oh, pretty. Look how pretty they are. They are, let's have a name, but they are so, so cute. Mix different sizes. I see one, two, three. Three different sizes, multiple colors. Really cute. And then I have some chain. Yes. And this is perfect for your albums or your decor, your uh, charms. Um, I was wrapped quite easily. Ah! Dang it, I didn't want to do that. Look how gold this is, though. Oh, I love it. Look how nice and little it is. It's perfect. Oh, I did a good guessing game on that. That is nice. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Yep, yep. Definitely can use this on your jewelry. You can use this for your charms. You can use this in your mini albums. Make you some cute dangles. Whatever floats your chain boat. Next package. We have some more lobster clasps in gold. We showed those yesterday. Ooh, some cute scissors. Look at these little detail scissors. Oh, they are so cute. How cute is that? Ah! Let's see how they cut. Oh, nice. Nice. Oh, these are nice. So definitely we'll add them down to my little scissor drawer down there with my other little tiny scissors. And then I showed you guys this. It's not over here, so it must have been in yesterday's video of um, the gold. I bought a gold one of these. So this is the silver one. And you have your little screw pins. You have your lobster clasp. These cute little things here. You have three different sizes of jump rings, your pins, some spacer beads, some earrings, um, holders or earring backs. So very, very, very cool. And this is in the color what they call white. Um, and then in this bag, more of the uh, iridescent sea beads in the white. And then, oh, here's the other one I was telling you guys about. This is round white gold letters. So I showed you guys the cubed color ones. These are so cool. Um, and then here are the round white with gold letters on there. Really, really nice. And then I have a mold. This is um, a resin mold and it's a heart, a uh, little heart keychain. So the heart and then there's a heart hole where you could hang your little charm and your chain in there your lobster class i mean you can just do one two three call it a day or one two three you know mix and match and then this bag i don't know how long this video is but i think i got one more after this so i have all the cutest little ruler um the little a little clear ruler really cute this six inch ruler really nice 
And then I have, let's see, this is a, oh, this is the beads kit. So this comes with a little pair of tweezers to be able to pick up your little beads. And then it comes with, um, I forget what this ring does. Does it hold? I forget what this ring does, but you do something to, oh, it opens up your, your jump rings. That's what it does. You know, so you don't, you know, open and close your beads so you don't hurt yourself or break a nail. And then you have your pliers that are nice, nicely oiled. So be careful. I'll put that on the surface that you don't want oil on there. So that's that. This is the bead kit. Very cool. We have a numbers embossing folder. A numbers embossing folder. I won't take it out, but it's an embossing folder with all these cool numbers on them. Really nice to have on your project. And then oh, I just love this stamp. Somebody gave me like a row of like 10 and it says pretty things inside and I don't have any left. And I thought, oh, and I saw these. I'm like, yes, 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 yes. I love them. They're pink with the gold writing that says pretty things inside. Really, really cool. Love that. Good for your packages, your swaps. You're sending out a rack. Put a little label on it. Super cool. Okay, and then the last one, we have some of these beads, pearl beads, but these are blue, pink, and white. And then here are the clear sticky notes I got in the larger size. And so yesterday I had the smaller ones. And then these are the larger ones of them. And they're just a little bit opaque. Sticky notes, good for your um, your planners. That's how they look. Right right on top of it. Oh, no, was that yesterday? Yeah, that was yesterday. In yesterday's video. For me, it was like 20 minutes ago. <laughs> and then look at the white ones. Look how cute these are. They're so adorable. Look. Look how cute. <laughs> I love these. It's so adorable. They go great with your mini albums, with your chains, with your charms. Look at the pink ones. Um, let me go look and see what's left. I want to make sure I'm not overwhelming everybody. Okay, so we're going to stop here on part two of my awesome Timu haul. My three, four days of Timu goodies i hope you guys enjoyed what you saw i hope you got some inspiration i hope you will like okay let me go find that check the description box for links to all of the items that i am hauling um in the video so you may gotta go back to part one part two part three to see what the items were but just click and click and go click and go click and go you'll be fine it might bring up some stuff that you might like, right? So check it out. Don't forget to leave a comment on yesterday's, today's video. Don't forget to like yesterday's and today's video and answer the question that was somewhere in said video to be eligible to win a goodie pack for me. There'll be a goodie pack on each day a video for the Timu haul is released in this series. So chances are good. U.S. only or U.S. address only. All right, guys, I will see you tomorrow for you, 10 minutes for me. Bye.